What's good, YouTube? It's your girl the baby with another video. Welcome back to another vlog. You guys, I know I have not been doing my videos right now, but I've been super, super tired, y'all, because I've been working super, super hard. This year, I swear, I want to achieve, like, all the goals that I didn't get to achieve last year or the year before last. I wasted two years again, which was when I was 36 and 37, and I've been in my apartment for two years, and now I'm really feeling like I need to elevate again, and I need to be able to get some property before I turn 40, because I'm getting older, and I know I got this young face, but at the end of the day, I need to be able to own my own stuff, because I don't want to be one of those women that have been living in their apartment or being in an apartment for years and years and years. So this year, I'm trying to level up on YouTube. I'm trying to level up my finances and I'm trying to level up my house situation. So that's what I'm going to do. And I do want to tell you guys that the trial hauls this year will not be like any others like you have before. Um, there's two things that I want to do before um, the end of the year because moving forward, it will be 2025 in a little bit. And I want to be able to have all my goals done. But in order for me to get my property, I can't spend any money. So, unfortunately, there will not be no fashion overhauls or all of that. Um, I have my own clothing that I want to launch, but I have to put money aside for that. And I also have to find another job until I get monetized on YouTube. So, if you guys are here, did I just see a huge ass rat? Yo, I swear to God, DC got the biggest nasty rats in the world. Like, you could be walking and they could just jump up. Yep. It's two of them. Oh, hell to the no. I'm walking in the street. It's hell to control. Get out here. Oh my God. Like I literally was just walking. You see that thing? Big ass fucking rat. Get out of here. Get out of here. Get your ass out of here. Look, y'all see that? Just walking and shit. Y'all see that big ass rat? That rat is, is like just walking around. Like, I, I can't, I can't, I, I can't, I can't do it. I literally can't do it. And in these cars, I'll be trying to, yo, let me get in my, let me get in my vehicle. Every day, I have to make sure that I check for rats because these rats be popping up on scene and they just be jumping through the mix and I don't got time, especially when it don't be that cold outside. They like to come and walk cause I wasn't paying attention, but then I seen two of them trying to be camouflaged on the ground and that's what we not gonna do. So yeah, they also be by the gate. Like it'd be too much. Yo, I, I hate these things. And they always in DC. It be so many of them. Like, oh my God. Infestation at its finest. But what I wanted to say was, is that I will not be giving um, Fashion Nova my money because the thing about Fashion Nova, the thing about Fashion Nova is that I was spending so much money. And I can remember last time saying that I wasn't gonna do no more fashion overhauls and I end up spending my money again like a dummy. And this year, I don't want to run around into the same circle saying that, oh, I'm gonna save my money, I'm gonna get this, I'm gonna do that, and then I don't end up doing it. So this year, I gotta stand on business. <laughs> Word that I said to leave in 2023, but I literally gotta stand on business and I gotta do what I gotta do. But I won't be doing those hauls like that. And then for one, I have so much of their clothing. And then for two, like their clothing be falling and ripping apart. So that tells me that just because I need a view on my, my videos, even though that's what, you know, my channel is about, which I want to move out of, I want to do other content or whatever. Like, I don't want to just be stuck in one field of content. I'm really thinking about doing a new channel because I've exhausted this channel so many years and years and years. And like, I'm just getting to the point where like, I'm tired of posting on this channel. I want to get a second channel going or whatever. So I do want to do a second channel. That's one of the goals that I want to put down. I need to write my goals down. It's like day 11 and I haven't done my goals yet, but yeah, I want to get that done. And yeah, I just want to be 
a better me and yeah that's what i want to do like i want to make sure that i get everything that i said i was going to do because that's what i gotta get done like it can't it can't be the same old same old and i'm also looking for like more income or whatever because i told myself this year i'm gonna close on a house i'm going to do what i gotta do i'm not interested on spending a whole bunch of money i recently got my nails clipped off because um let me tell y'all a story about my nails so I was supposed to get my nails done like right after Christmas. I had paid the woman $80 to do my hands and I also paid her um, another $35 to do my lashes. Do you not know within like three days, my fingernails came all off and also my lashes came off and I was like you know what I'm not paying no more money for these nails because at the end of the day I feel like when I spend my money on something especially um nails and stuff and the type of work that I do I work with a lot of water it's like pointless why is this stupid thing it's it's always some always something going on and always something going on but anyway, um, I was just like, I'm not about to keep spending my money on the nails and spending my money on the lashes. For one, for the lashes, I can do the lashes myself. I don't need nobody to really do them. I was only getting that done because I really like the aesthetic. But like when it's time to work out or if I need to do something or if I need to um, run or do exercise or if I need to get it in and have some SEX, it's not practical for my eyes. Like my sweat comes down my eyes and i'd be like no i'm not gonna i'm not about to keep paying for this like i'm just not and then on top of it even though i like it done i'm like okay let me just choose a time that i'm going to do this so if i do do my lashes then i need to make sure that it's my birthday or something but like going in every two weeks to get it done is just not it now my eyebrows i only get those done probably like every 90 days so i'm not worried about my um eyelashes right now i'm wearing my hair because my um weave be costing like three and four hundred dollars and i'm not really trying to spend a whole bunch of money so when my hair does get like super super natural i'm just gonna braid it up and i'm gonna do what i was doing from before and i'm gonna wear me a half wig i'm probably gonna order me like a new wig or whatever when the summer come and braid underneath and have it braided maybe i can get my um because my hairdresser i i was getting her to like um cornrow my hair and i was just wearing a wig because i was just like yeah like i'm just gonna like get a wig done because when i was getting the um weaves i was only leaving it in for two months and then like i was taking it back out so i was like nah i'm just gonna do something different because like this year i need all my chips i need all my money like there's no need for me to go spending 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 and then uh, far as food is concerned i do like to eat a lot so i'm just like okay if i do eat out it has to be at my restaurant where i work at where i can get a discount and if I do eat out, I need to limit it to two days out of the week. So this week I had ate out um, twice, I think so. Yeah, because I got some food, so that's it. This week I have crushed the limit of my food eating out. Now the weekend is here, I'm gonna eat all my food in the house and not buy no food. I went to Walmart, I spent my money. So like Friday night, I'm gonna cook a meal. I think I'm gonna make some fish or whatever. And that's it because I feel like, you know, like in order to get what I want, I cannot keep giving all of my money to these different people. It's just not practical no more. And I need to kind of get this, um, like I need to get this party started. I need to get it straight on the road. So yeah, it's not about to happen. So yeah, I need to do what I want to do and I need to earn more money so I can get what I want. And yeah, that's what I got to do. So that's in a nutshell. And yeah, that's what I want to do. So I'm just like, let me get to do what I want to do. And I'm also super proud and super happy right now because I just looked out, I just looked on my um, notice for my car and originally my car was $27,000 um three almost three and a half years ago because i bought this car 2021 so 2022 2023 so two years so far that i've had this car um 24 so it's about to be three years 
or what? No, 21, 22, and it just hit 24. So two years and one month because my anniversary date for my car was January, no, December 28th. I don't know. But yeah, that's what it was. So I'm super excited and happy because I only owe um 16,000, no, no, yeah, wait, wait. I only owe, I think 16,000 or something like that. 16, 16, 655. So, or something like that. I thought I had owed 19. It's something like that, but the point is, or I, I, I think it's whatever. The point is, is that I owe less money on my car now, so, this year, I'm like, all right, cool. I need to pay extra on my car, and I need to make sure that I get more money coming in so I can hurry up and pay this car off because I'm just like, yeah, I want to hurry up and pay this car down. So, yeah. Um, it's other six, something like that. So, anyway, I owe less than what I thought. So, yeah, the less debt I have, the more house that I can buy. So, I'm trying to make sure that, like, I can buy more. So, I'm trying to make sure that I pay off my um small credit cards today i decided to pay off one of my well mo the majority of it, i think it was 150 i paid only 100 but it's due on the 20th so on the 20th i'm going to um go back to the store and pay the 50 or i might go back um this weekend and pay the 50 but or pay the 20 and then come back and just pay the rest off because I'm trying to get rid of that credit card in general. So I was like, I'll just come back because I don't want to use all my cash. But the point of the matter is, is that I'm trying to get all my unnecessary debts out the window or whatever. So when it's time for me to buy what I need, they're not looking at me crazy and I won't have a whole bunch of debt or whatever. So those are my goals and I'm sticking with it. I'm telling myself that I'm going to close on my house. I'm going to close on something that is going to be nice for me to live in. It's going to be affordable. I don't want to buy anything that's unaffordable. I don't want to buy something that is just going to fall apart. So I'm going to have to manifest that and I'm going to have to pray on God about it. And I also want it to be in an area where it's not too far from my job. That is the biggest thing that is I'm seeing right now is that things are being built and made, but it's like super, super far, or people are just buying the cheapest um, piece of real estate. And then when I try to get it, like it's not available at the moment, but I always tell myself that God got me. And if I really want something, I can work towards it. So that's what I'm going to be doing this year. I'm going to be working towards my goals on what I want and I'm not going to let anybody take me out of what I want to do and I'm not really um concerned about what other people are doing this year because like for the last two years I was like in limbo with my friends one minute I would see them and the next minute I, I wouldn't see them so now I only have like maybe like two people that I hang out with and I don't hang out with them often so this year I have no reason not to focus on me because I feel like especially um younger people or um, millennials in general, which I am, is like, we will say that we want to do something. And then as soon as it's an opportunity to hang out and party, I'm out the window. And that me, I'm trying to kill that old spirit of me. I'm just trying to be boss Z baby, you know, because like, if I just figure out what I want, then I don't have to really worry about it coming true because I'm working towards it. So that's what I wanted to say. I know that was like a super long explanation, but at the end of the day, that's what I want to happen and it's going to happen and I make sure that it happens this time. And I, even though I really love my apartment, like my apartment, the location is great. Even though last year, um, like a couple of months ago, like I had an issue with mice coming in or whatever, which was really unfortunate. Um, they did patch up the holes, which I was really happy about, but it's just like, you know, um, this year, like I want to be able to have my own things, like things have, I want things in my name. So it's just like, now I'm like on a different tune and I'm not really pressed to do the small stuff. I'm not really pressed to go buy no clothes. I'm not really pressed to go to the club. I'm not pressed to do any of those things. I do like to get a drink or two, but that's about it. I really am not pressed to like go run out and hang out pick up an outfit and you know get hair and nails done to go spend my money and be up on somebody that's going to be doing this that, and the third i know last year i was doing all of that pressed to go out 
pressed to get my hair done. And me, when I go out, I like to get my hair done. I like to spend like three, four hundred dollars getting my hair done or whatever. And then like putting on a sexy outfit and going out and going to shake my booty and yeah and drink a little drink and get drunk and wake up the next morning but that can't be me anymore like i have to clean up my act and i have to get serious about what i want and what i need so that's what i'm gonna do but i just wanted to come in and talk to y'all because i know y'all was like where's your girl but i was like let me just make this short little vlog or whatever because it's, it, it's, it has to happen. Like sometimes I always feel like I've wasted a lot of time. Um, people that are in their 30s can feel me. Like I feel like I wasted a lot of time doing nothing. And I wasted a lot of time with a lot of people doing nothing. So this year I got to make sure that I don't waste any more time. I need to be strategic. How do you say it? Strategic? Sometimes I, I, I get um, tongue tied. But you know what I'm saying? I have to be strategic. I can't even say it. Strategic. Okay, whatever. You know what I mean. I have to basically not play with my time because I don't. People still got their Christmas lights up. That's crazy. But Christmas lights are beautiful in the winter time. But yeah, I don't have time to play games anymore with people, and I don't have time to play games with myself anymore. It's getting to that point. Oh my God, y'all, the police. Yo, it, these police policemen, they don't be playing out here. I don't know if y'all can see it. It's really blurry, but yeah, these police, this car, I don't know what you're doing. Yeah, your ass getting recorded. Cause nigga, you doing the most. You doing the most, you doing the most. That dude. Yeah, like I literally just took a video on what that guy was doing just now. Cause like he was doing the most. He like turned his car around and then like he like did like a, a number and like did the most. And I was like, what is he doing? What is he doing? So, yeah, that's what I'm trying to get done, you guys. Like, I'm trying to do what I got to do for me. I've been um, putting applications in or whatever because I want to get a different job. Like, I want to get a different hourly. I deserve to get paid more on my other job. They would just be working so hard. So, hopefully, I get everything I want because normally when I work towards something, I always get what I want. So, that's all in a nutshell what it is. But I just know that I can't play no more games. And um, I was at work today, and I was speaking to one of my, to one of my managers, and um, we were talking, and I was like, yeah, you know, like, I'm about to be 39 this year. That's crazy, because I was like, I can't believe I'm about to be 39, even though I look 26, but um, I, I can't believe I'm about to be 39. It's like, I look at things, like, so different. Like, I feel like I wasted a lot of time in my 30s or whatever, and she was like, I can't believe you feel that way, and I was like, yeah. And she was like, what do you do to like keep yourself looking so young? And I told her that like, I take my hair affinity pills and I was like, you always see me drinking water. I drink a lot of water, whatever, a lot of water, like a lot of water, like every day. I like to drink, I like to drink, I think. I like to drink two to three bottles um, a day. And I was just telling her, you know, like the small stuff that I like to do. And um, I did tell my um, guests at my table that um, I stopped smoking cigarettes. So I think that was a good move for me because I remember a long time ago, I had issues with um, me smoking cigarettes and I used to be so addicted to them. And I felt like I couldn't like, what's the word? I couldn't, um, I could not really like function without one. So like the fact that like I thought it, in, thought it through in my head, like you don't need to buy these cigarettes no more. Like, those are a waste of money, and yeah. And then my guest was like, you too pretty to be doing all of that. And I'm like, yeah, I don't need to be smoking these cigarettes, so no. But yeah, you guys, I can't believe I'm about to be 39. That's crazy. So I was like, I cannot be 40 in an apartment. Like, that is not the move anymore. Like, it's just not the move. I'm just not interested in it. It's not what I want anymore, and it's just like... I will do anything in my power to get what I want. I just pray to God that I get it done. And I'm just going to manifest my goals. I was supposed to do manifestation goals the other day. And guess what? I didn't even get to do it. So I need to make sure that I do my goals and write them down. Because let me tell y'all something. I have wrote down like some of my goals last year and only accomplished like one because they always say faith without works is dead and, but I did like um I did 
get one of the goals correctly because like one of the goals I wanted to add like 700 more people on my platform and I end up getting like 2,000 people so yeah when you want to get something done the best thing that you can do is um write it down this person trying to go through the light I don't know why they're following me but um the best thing that you can do when you want to get stuff done is write it down and then work towards it don't write it down and think that it's going to be a fairy god um mother wish and you sleep underneath your pillow and don't work towards it because that's not going to work now i've had heard stories where some people write down their goals and then they put the goals underneath the pillow or whatever and then they work towards it i have not done that yet um i'm going to think about it but yeah, sometimes when you um, be specific, like on what you want, like you get it like in a different package. So I'm just like, all right, this year, this year, did it. It's all, folks. Girl, girl, you got to get your uh, speech correct. But sometimes when you, um, sometimes when you, write down your goals and put it underneath the pillow it does come true um i've seen stories on youtube and seen it like oh y'all this police too these policemen they be in the cut that's why i be seeing them like i don't know what it is about me but oh, hold on y'all i got a call okay you guys so i wanted to come back but yeah i had seen a policeman and um the way i have my phone is i'm recording with y'all but y'all i don't have okay so i have something to hold my um phone but every single time i buy a gps mount for my phone it literally breaks whether i order it on amazon whether um i get it from ross whether i get it from marshall's whether i get it from tj maxx every time i order one it breaks so what i'm trying to do is film and i'm holding the phone by the steering wheel or whatever but it's like i never know what these policemen because these policemen be doing the most these policemen be acting like they just be acting funny sometimes so it's just like you know i don't know so i don't ooh, i don't want to get into any trouble so i'm just like let me just have my phone like face down so i don't have to worry about them bothering me i'm almost home though so like yeah and that's another thing like my apartment is so not that far from my job or whatever and i was just saying that to my boo i was telling him like i want something that's like around but like i don't want to be like an arm and a leg far and unfortunately i live in the dmv area and it's like the only thing that they have a whole bunch of are these condos with these high, high, high HOA fees. Like some HOA fees are a thousand dollars. Like who really wants to pay that? So it's just been kind of like difficult. And I have found this lady on Zello. She's like a realtor or whatever, but it's just like, I don't know if I can like 100% go with her. So I think I'm gonna probably have to get back into the NACA program. But I'm going to wait until I get the money because NACA will try to play with you. If you don't have like a certain amount of savings into your account, NACA will like play with you. They'll tell you to do all this shit and, and take all day. And I don't got time. So I said this time, I'm not going to waste my time messing with them. I'm going to have my money saved in my account and I'm going to be ready to go. And I, I don't want to hear no excuses. I've been in the program for a while. I do not feel like doing a whole bunch of um, BS. I'll do the workshops that they ask for. But as far as like the saving money part, I want to be having the money on hand. That way it's no, you know, like I've been through the process too many times. So it's just like at this point when I show my paperwork and everything, get me inside of my house. I don't want to hear nothing else. So that's what I'm on this year. If it ain't about that, I'm really not interested um i'm really not interested on giving people my money like that so yeah that's what i'm on i got this stupid camry driving behind me like they going 90 going north i don't understand that like people i don't know some of these people in this neighborhood be driving so so fast and be speeding up like they about to i don't know but with me i'm slowing the fuck down because these policemen when they're out to get you they're out to get you and they like to give you a hefty ticket and harass and bother you and i don't got time so yeah 
but um yeah that's what i'm on this year like this year i'm gonna try to not to bs like yeah and tonight was really a nice night because tonight it's like a lot of people gave me cash and i was like yeah let me get this money let me get this let me get just money right quick I gotta pay with this stupid phone bill. Y'all, I fucking hate AT&T with a cocoa passion. I hate their ass. I hate their ass. I really hate AT&T. Like, I don't like their phone service at all. I don't like the rates that they try to say are so fucking affordable when they're so unaffordable. 200 and some change for a phone bill. It's ridiculous. And the fact that they're trying to make that the norm is crazy. to pay my bills. Mm. I'm gonna walk up these damn steps. I'm just gonna take this. I don't know why they keep sending me credit cards. I don't want that. I'm gonna show y'all all the cash I made tonight. So today was not bad. Find me. I also wanna find me a different Ouch, but I want to find me a different restaurant. So it's a lot of stuff I want to do this year, and I, I gotta get it done. I can't sit back and wait. I can't sit back and act crazy. I can't sit back and go spend all my money. I gotta think about what I want. It's freezing out here too. It's like 32 degrees. Like it's cold, cold. I gotta get up and work tomorrow. But the good thing is, I'm gonna work Friday night. And I hope Raising Canaan is on. Because I wanna watch me some Raising Canaan. So, I need to make sure that I fry this fish tomorrow. I'm gonna make a fresh fry. I'm gonna put that on tomorrow short. Y'all keep out on the lookout for the short tomorrow. You know what's crazy? I was. This is TMI, I was on my menstrual cycle at work and then a coworker was like, she need to come on her menstrual. And then she came on her menstrual. And she was like, can you give me a pad? And I was like, sure, why not? And she was like, you made me come on my period. And I was like, yes, it's possible, that happens. It's possible. Surprise! Yeah, my Apple Watch is charged. Cause I want to know something. So oh, I ain't got time for that. Why can I prop y'all up there when I'm trying to fall it? Y'all see? Can I see a girl? What I y'all falling? Fell again. I better be careful because I already broke the piece on this on this um phone. The camera. Look at this y'all. So they find me two hundred and fifty dollars for this ticket. And then when I went online, it was two seventy five. And she was like, "We sent your notice out um, a long time ago." They said they sent my notice out um, eleven six twenty twenty three. Now I called the lady, and I was like, "No, you sent the notice out on twelve eleven of twenty twenty three." She was like, "No, we sent it out on um eleven she's talking about that's the second notice I said ma'am that's BS I only got one notice we got, in, we got into a huge argument and I was like I don't feel like it's fair and she was like well you should have stopped for the police officer I'm like ma'am first of all I could not stop for no daggone not police officer but stop for the bus because the the um bus was coming towards me so anyway let me show y'all what I made 
today. I don't even need more money counts because I'm not no stripper, but today was like a really like day that I wasn't thinking that anybody was gonna really leave me any money for real. I had a bunch of people leave me this money. These ones at that, like literally, they gave me all these ones. Cause I did not, have, I, I, I did not come to work with no ones, none. So let me count these ones because I counted like several different times. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, um, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. I don't know how to count, y'all. That's why I be hating ones. I need to get a money counter. And I'm about to show y'all what I'm about to do with these ones in a second. But I just want to count them out real quick. One. One, two, three. No. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. This is $23. So, I'm going to show you what I'm about to do with this 23. And this is my draw from last year or whatever. Whoops. So this is my draw from last year. And I was not happy or I wasn't happy with my goals on, on it because I didn't do as much as I want. But the jar is heavy. So I'm doing my ones challenge again. Because I haven't done a ones challenge in a minute. And like I'm like, let me put these ones. Right here. So, damn, come on, phone. So, every time I get ones, they're gonna go right in this cute little jar. I thought that was super cute. TJ Maxx. And this was originally like a hair thing or whatever, but it's just like this sense is getting heavy. So, hopefully, my ones challenge is a go. Let me show you the rest of the money I made. So, I think I walked in with like 40 bucks. Because I originally had like... I came in with $40. So, this is what I came in with. Like, that was already in my wallet. So, one, two, three, seventy, eighty. So I made 80 and then I have 90, 100. So I'd have to pay something too. So I got 100 in cash and then I made 77 on cards. So I made like 177 because they told me that $77 got loaded to my card. And I wasn't expecting that because I had to pay that ticket, which was two seventy five uncalled for. So yeah, that wasn't bad. So I have my ones here, and I'm like, every time somebody give me ones, or um, I get change, I take anything. Like I'd be like, yeah, I think I got some change in this purse. Let me see. I got change in this bag real quick. Set this phone, y'all. Oh god, it's always something. And I cannot find my um tripod at the moment. I don't know where it is. I have no idea where it is. I have change in this bag though. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to hit the notification bell to get a video every time I upload. Y'all try this at home. 
try it. It's a ones challenge. So basically, every time I get some ones and some waitress, I'm just going to put ones in here and put coins in here. Because this is what people, like, don't like when they tip. They always give out, like, these ones and stuff. So, yeah, y'all try it out. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Y'all, please like my videos. I need to get into the algorithm. Like, I'm having a problem getting to the algorithm. So, I hope you guys enjoyed. And see you guys in the next one.